Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Naninga. If you've never seen my face before, consider subscribing. But aside from that, I know you've clicked because of the title of the video. And here on this channel, I talk about health, beauty, fashion, and real and pertinent issues affecting us as women, affecting general life issues that affect people, finances. I do love talking about finances because without finances, <laughs> This world is ruled by finances. Unfortunately, that's a reality for us. That's the world we're living in. And if you don't get your finances together, you're going to have a terrible time on this earth. So welcome to my channel. Uh, yeah, and before you leave this video, make sure that you like it, subscribe and comment and also share it with your friends because I'm sure you'll come out with a ton of knowledge. So let's just get into the video. So today I'm going to actually talk about income generating activities and what is an income generating activity as the name just suggests it's basically an income generating activity an activity you do to generate income or to increase your finances so um, and specifically I'm dwelling on hobbies because a lot of people are doing things they love for free for free yeah I know I'm one of them I'm on YouTube I'm doing my makeup basically for free for now because I have not yet been monetized and also because I'm not yet reached a thousand subscribers so don't forget to subscribe to my channel but anyway aside from that I'm going to talk about the hobbies that people actually are doing especially here in Africa we are doing these things almost on a daily basis and um we're not generating any income from them. No, we are not. So let's just get into the first item that can generate for you income. And most people do it as a hobby without even knowing. Yeah, and most people do I actually do the first thing without um, ever considering that it can generate income for them uh, just because maybe they didn't go to a school for that particular item. But you can still generate income from this item and that item is actually hair braiding and hair plating. I know what? a lot of people, I myself, I know a lot of people who are always sitting in their neighbor's house, finishing for them their braids, braiding them for free, braiding their kids, my own sister braids her own kids, but she has never considered like doing this as an income generating activity. So if you know how to braid or attach braids on somebody's head, if you know how to uh, do lines, I personally go to the salon just to do my lines. Like, yeah, I do not love going to the salon and I've said that severally, but I actually, the few occasions that I go to the salon, I go and have my hair just done in cornrows lines yeah i call them lines because in kenya we call them lines we don't call them corn rules yeah so i normally go do my lines like uh on my head and pay money for that and those lines that i normally pay for are really simple lines like literally like five or six corn rules on the head that are going to be hidden by wigs and i pay money for that in the salon so if you're the kind of person who is always at your neighbor's place plating your neighbor for free plating your kids for free maybe you're a housewife maybe you're a stay-at-home mom please just consider like turning your yeah don't break your neighbor for free make sure they're paying you <laughs> i know in africa we have a saying that um what Hmm. now forgotten that thing but basically we take care of each other as a community especially when you're in up country or we shall go yeah in kenya we call it ushago in case you're not from kenya and you're watching me we call it ushago now if in case you're ushago and uh, you're just braiding your neighbors for free consider asking them to pay you i know a lot of um africans consider it unethical to actually pay your neighbor or to demand money from your neighbor we consider it unethical but come on the times we are living in the times we are living in honey you have to put food on your table so make sure in case you know how to braid how to plate consider turning it into an income generating activity you don't actually have to um what is it called open a salon especially right now because of the pandemic we are still in the pandemic guys and hopefully uh, in case you see this video 10 years from now I hope we won't be in the pandemic, but we are still in the pandemic and people are doing like door to door right now. It's the in thing, like door to door salons, like 
you know you go to the person's place and actually do their hair from their home so consider doing that and you can generate some little income for your family for yourself and enjoy the like life that you want that i know a lot yeah. of people do and i would really advise you to turn it into an income generating activity is actually baking yes i know people who are obsessed with baking and you know i was pulling out these hobbies actually thinking of the people i actually know who do a really good job at these things and they actually just don't ever consider asking for money for these things uh or even turning it into an income generating activity i mean in africa a lot of us as i've said before we tend to like believe that we are not supposed to ask for our neighbor's money ask for our family's money but believe you me where the world is headed especially if you're in kenya where kenya is headed honey you have to ask for money when you provide any service or good so i'm not saying that you become money hungry but this is the next thing which is actually baking i know a lot of people who bake wonderful cakes beautiful cakes for all their family their friends their grandmas their grandpas they bake for their moms for their dads for everybody's birthday in the house but they've never considered ever like turning it into an income generating activity um i think that baking is something that you can even do in the comfort of your home like you can people can place orders uh for your cakes actually from the comfort of your home of course there's regulations that govern like um cakes that are supposed to be sold and all that but i think it's something that you can actually start uh without um having to incur a lot of costs you know with uh, things that you already have i know of a story of the person i can't remember which big house in kenya it was but she was saying that she started from home and she actually just pulled out the oven that she was using at home uh to take to her business so you will use very little capital very minimal especially if you already do it as a hobby and some of these things you don't actually need to have gone to school years of practice can actually make you a professional at it more than somebody who's even gone to school for it so yeah if you know how to bake if you know how to bake cakes if you know how to bake pastries come on turn it turn it into an income generating activity and see where it will take you just consider it especially if you look you're looking for an extra source of income i can bet you that you will not regret just like the person i can't remember which kick house it was i don't know whether it was. Uh, i read her story and she said that she just started like with the oven that she had from home and all that and right now it's really a major kick house so if you know how to bake if you have been baking cakes for free for your neighbors please charge them <laughs> yeah so this is another hobby that you can actually and you know some of these things like baking are actually what we consider labors of love and also um there are things that you need to love to do okay you need to love to do them in the first place yeah just like makeup which is actually the next thing i'm going to talk about so baking is something that if you're good at it make sure you consider turning it into an income generating activity and i can assure you that you will not be disappointed income generating activity that is actually being done as a hobby a lot by people is actually makeup yes there are so many people who normally pay people to do their makeup whether it's for photo shoots weddings uh functions you know just graduation or something of the sort so many people go in um like to salons and stuff seeking like professional makeup artists to apply makeup for them so if you know how to um apply makeup make sure that you turn it into an income generating activity because i know a lot of people who offer their services completely for free to friends and family and neighbors and all that just because they feel that maybe they don't have a salon or they don't have a, or they didn't go to beauty school or something of the sort but if you're doing that service let's say for to a neighbor for their graduation maybe as a friend that's fine but you can always start charging them for example if they're always asking you to do their makeup for photo shoots and you know all manner of things like christmas parties birthday parties and all that so consider charging them and you don't really need a salon for this you just need some few things i mean the makeup and all and you and your traveling bag and you can definitely start earning an income from it all you need is a little pouch that can carry the makeup and you're good to go so if you know how to apply makeup really well consider turning it into a business activity yes or an income generating activity for that matter yep don't just do it as a hobby don't just do it as thing yeah temporary break relax my muscles
Okay, so the next thing that you can actually turn into an income generating activity is social media. And I know that there are so many people, so many people who do social media as a hobby. You're always taking photos on Instagram. You're always um, taking, uh, posting your stories on Facebook, on Instagram. You're always doing TikToks. You're always doing what? And you're not earning a coin from it. And yet you have thousands of followers. Honey, turn it into an income generating activity. Go after those brands. And there are so many ways you can make money off social media. Starting with the first. If you have grown a following of let's say 100,000 people and you've never been a celebrity, you've never, um, you're not famous, nothing weird has ever happened to you there's no leaked sex tape no weird thing has ever happened to you but you've created a following of about a hundred thousand people and now people know your name it means you're doing social media right so what can you do about that talent of doing social media right you can manage people's accounts you can help other people who also want to get to a hundred thousand followers by managing their social media accounts for them at a fee so if you know you're really good at social media whether it's Facebook, TikTok, Instagram, YouTube, you know, you name it. Do it. Do it. Manage those accounts for those people who want to pay you to manage those accounts. And that's not the only way you can do social media. You can also go after brands if you have a giant following. I mean, if you have like 100,000 followers, definitely brands can do deals with you, advertise. Just ask Kina, the size 8, Kina Diana Bahati. If you are in Kenya, you know them. That's how they started all these deals, Kinako. Say they have a lot of brand deals because they have a lot of followers. A lot. A lot. So don't put your account on private when you already have 100,000 followers. You don't know what, what's going to happen. You don't know. So <laughs> you can always turn uh, social media, which is a hobby for most people, into an income generating activity. And you can also slot YouTube in there. Yeah, YouTube can also make a lot of people are earning money off YouTube, surprisingly, from the advertisements you're seeing, from brand deals, from, you know, you name it. People are earning a living off YouTube. So if you've got a smartphone camera uh, or you have a camera camera, you can always start your YouTube channel. And one day it might just make you some earn some money. Yep. Break. Mm -mm -mm. Talking tears me out, by the I don't know if I've ever told you guys I'm really an introvert. I didn't practice talking so much when I was younger. I was always silent. I remember there's this one time a kid actually, this is just off topic. A kid actually asked me in primary school, can you talk? And that time I was like in standard six, <laughs> a whole 12 year old. And this guy, we had studied with him since pre-unit like started one pre-unit started one star two star three star four star five star at six and he just came up to me and asked me can you talk and i was like yeah then he was like no i'm asking if you're deaf or dumb and i was like no i can talk probably that's how i said it yeah so yeah let's just move on summarize it for you in case you missed any of those nice things that i've said if you know you are passionate or your hobbies are any one of these things, braiding of hair, plating, you know, relaxing hair or anything to do with hair, you love playing with hair, try turning it into an income generating activity. Secondly, baking. If you are obsessed with making pastries, cakes for your family, for your friends, for your neighbors, for everybody's occasion, the neighbors know that if they go tell you they have their graduation, you're there with a cake. Consider turning it into an income generating activity. The third thing, makeup. If you know you're obsessed with putting on makeup first thing in the morning, playing with your little daughter, your son, your what, your friends, you know, in campus, your college mates, you always are playing makeup on them. Turn it into an IG. Number four, if you know that you are obsessed with social media, you're always taking photos on social media, you've grown a massive following on social media, and you know all the tips and tricks about social media, consider managing accounts for other people or if you know you love editing what you love standing staring in front of a camera like me consider starting a youtube channel and consider very many other social media things that you can do with followers brand placements blah 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 
you get the point but anyway guys those are the hobbies that i feel that in this 2021 or whatever year you'll be watching this from you should definitely consider turning into an income generating activity because the market is there for these things the market is there especially if you're in africa braiding twisting plating everything in between is really marketable yeah and africa is now a young continent that is hurriedly growing with internet users and i feel that social media is going to be a big thing it is already a big thing in some countries but it's going to blow more so uh consider that and thank you so much for watching if you're not yet subscribed i'm doing a series actually here on this specific channel a series specifically called keeping it real the keeping it real series where i talk about real pertinent issues that pertain to us as youth us as women us as uh tall people you know just real issues basically finances africans kenyans you know what is ailing us and we need to rectify kind of but i especially drift towards finances because i really love finances yeah so yeah you can check out that keeping it real series it's on my playlist and i'm talking a lot so i'll see you in my next video bye